In this tutorial, I will show you how to make the camera track to an object in Blender. So to do this, just make sure you have the camera selected, and then you're going to click right over here to the Object Constraint Properties. Then you can click on Add Object Constraint, and you can click on Track To. You can then click right here on this Target option, and you can select any object that you want the camera to follow. Or you can also click right here on the eyedropper, and then you can just select an object. And when you select that object, now if I move the object, the camera is going to follow that object. So I can move the train on this track here and the camera is going to follow it. Or I could also select the camera and I can move the camera around. You can see I have the camera's view right up here and no matter the view of the camera it's always going to be facing the train. So you could now animate the camera or the train or both objects and the camera will always be tracking to the train. Now you may want to track the camera to a specific spot but you don't want to use an object which is visible in the render. So to do this you can press shift A and you can go here to empty and you can add any of these. I'm going to add the sphere and empty. So these empty objects are not going to be visible in the render because they don't have any faces. So I can then select the camera. I can click right here to remove the target and then I can click here on the drop down and click on the empty or just click on the eyedropper and select the empty. So I can now animate the train and the empty separately and the camera is always going to be looking at the empty instead. And tracking the camera to an empty can be very useful if you want to track the camera to a more specific spot. Because if I instead track the camera to the train, the camera is always going to be looking at the object's origin. And you can see the train's origin is right down there. You can see there's that little orange dot there. But maybe I don't want the camera to be tracking the front of the train. Maybe I want it to track the back of the train. I can instead track the camera to the empty, and then I can move the empty here to the back of the train. And then I can animate both of these objects. Or I could also bring the empty just a little bit in front of the train, and that way the camera will always be looking just a little bit ahead of the train. And if you'd like to learn the basic of animation in Blender, then I have a complete tutorial on animation for beginners. You can check that out with the card right up there on the screen and the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn all about how to use the camera in Blender, I also have a specific tutorial on how to use the Blender camera. Link is in the description. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.